I've got this question over and over and over. Do you have an opinion on adding apple cider vinegar to a chicken's water? Uh, yeah, of course I have an opinion. Uh, I personally don't do it, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But uh, for you, we'll have to answer a couple of questions before we can tell for sure. The first critical distinction we have to make is, are you considering adding it to your chicken's water to positively affect their health? are just to keep the water from negatively affecting their health. And the second distinction we have to make is, do you water your chickens in an open top water or one of those gravity style enclosed watering systems? Because those two watering systems create two completely different environments. The open top waters tend to get nastier as far as foreign material, feathers, poop, dirt, things like that really get into open top waters. And you may think, well, I'll fix that. I'll put an enclosed watering system, like a gravity waterer in there. Well, don't be so quick to think they don't get dirty because the stagnant nature of that water, it actually helps bacteria grow even faster because it's not in an aerobic environment like out in the open air. It's an enclosed system. And while it's not completely anaerobic, it is hypoxic and it gets a lot less light. So you're more likely to see algae and stuff like that growing in the enclosed waters. Now, the big three, Salmonella, E. coli, and Listeria, all that can live in both types of waters. But on top of that, in an enclosed water, you can get algae, you can get uh, rust related, or not rust, iron related bacteria, that stuff that causes that orange goop inside of a water that's been neglected for way too long. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And sometimes if it's, if it's let go for way too long, the algae can cause little micro pockets of an anaerobic environment, which in turn lets things like Clostridium botulinum happen. You know, that's the bacteria that produces the spores that then produces the toxins. Anyway, that's for, that's for watering systems that have been let go for way too long. So to combat all the bad stuff, people have traditionally put apple cider vinegar in the water to make it more acidic because most bad bacteria prefer neutral to alkaline conditions. And when you add a tablespoon or two of apple cider vinegar to a gallon of water, it does make it just acidic enough to discourage bacterial growth. And on top of that, if you use apple cider vinegar with the mother in it, that's adding good bacteria to the water that can live in acidic conditions. And that good bacteria does consume the food that would have been eaten by the bad bacteria. So you would think, hey, adding apple cider vinegar to my chicken's water is a really good idea. If it lowers the pH just enough to create that chemical fence to where the bad stuff can't proliferate, why wouldn't I do it? While all of that is 100% true, apple cider vinegar falls infinitely short of a good hand scrubbing and regular cleaning. There's a lot of myths around apple cider vinegar and uh, you know, everything from it helps them lay more eggs to uh, it's a, uh, it, it helps treat respiratory infection. All that is, is completely not true. It can have, I'll say this, it can have marginal health benefits on their gut health. But I personally am of the opinion that if you have to give an animal of the avian species something to help balance their gut, you're probably the reason their gut is out of balance in the first place. If chickens are eating and drinking what they're supposed to be eating and drinking, they won't have any problems. They're not like us humans. You know how we are. If we get heartburn, we don't stop eating the stupid food that gives us the heartburn. We would rather eat this little uh, flavored calcium carbonate little tablet and just keep right on eating what we want to. Bottom line is this, uh, <laughs> if you get heartburn, it means you ate something dumb and you probably shouldn't be eating that. But what do we do? We just eat the, eat the little tums and, and go on about our day. Because we like to treat the fruit of the problem instead of the root of the problem in the name of it tastes good. Anyway, I don't want to get off on that. A chicken's gut should not have to be balanced. All they need is clean water, good quality feed, and uh, you know room to, to range around and find what they want to eat. And a quick plug for my favorite people in New Jersey, 
uh, don't forget about black soldier fly larvae from Grub Terra. They are an approved chicken food, and I can help you get 20% off your first order. I'll leave the link in the discount code in the description. Now that I've made you wait, I'll tell you why I don't put apple cider vinegar in my chicken's water. My chickens drink out of the pond, and I don't have that much vinegar, and if I did, my fish probably wouldn't appreciate it. To summarize this whole thing, apple cider vinegar is a preventative at best. Uh, I mean, if you want to use it, you're probably grown and you are a volitional creature and you have the capacity to make decisions for yourself. With that being said, from where I'm at, it's up to you whether you want to use apple cider vinegar or not. But one thing to remember before I go, don't use apple cider vinegar in a galvanized metal container because the acidic nature of the liquid will strip the zinc coating off of the galvanized metal and it'll make your chicken's water a zinc slush puddle and uh, they could suffer from zinc poisoning. So putting anything acidic around galvanized metal is dumb. And if you're new here, you may not know it, but we try our best not to do dumb stuff around here. Speaking of being new, if you are new and subscribed, tell me where you're at in the world and I'll put a pin to represent your location on our Gibson Branch family subscriber map. The way I can figure, I've got about 2,500 pins stuck so far and uh, I've got plenty more. That's all I got for today. God bless. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.